Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the number one mistake I see beginners make inside of Revit for plumbing. So here we are in a floor plan right here, and I have this architectural model linked in, and that's why it's in a light gray color, because it's a link. And right here, we also have a 3D view of this little um, bathroom group right here. So I'm gonna show you the number one mistake I see. So a lot of people, what they'll start doing is they'll start drawing some pipe, and we'll draw it in this view. We're gonna make it at nine feet, and we're just gonna draw this one inch pipe and we're gonna make sure that it's on the domestic cold water system. And so I'm just gonna start drawing this pipe right here. And this is what a lot of people will do. They'll go here and they'll go into this wall right here. They'll click and then they'll drop this piping down to say two feet and they'll click apply and then they're done, okay? Basically, this is exactly how we do things in CAD, okay? We just show it like this. Now, if I go to a medium level of detail, you'll see that this looks just like a CAD drawing where we're dropping our water piping down to show that it's gonna be connected to this fixture. Now, the one problem with this is it's not connected to any fixture. So we can't utilize some of the advantages of Revit in its BIM modeling techniques. So let me go ahead and just show you guys what most people will do when they do this. So let's go ahead and copy this piece of piping. We can use our copy command and we can just, you know, drag this over here somewhere just like that. Maybe we can also use the trim extend. We can trim this into this just like that. And again, we can also, you know, we can hold control and just drag this over. That looks great. And then we can use our trim command just like that. And also we can start drawing from the piece of pipe. We can create similar and again, go to this point. Revit will actually snap for us, which is nice. We can go to that point right there, drop it down to two feet and hit apply. So that's great. But here's the one issue I have guys. When we click on this piece of pipe, you're going to look down here on the mechanical flow properties. There are no properties associated with this pipe. And that's because these pipes are not connected to anything. They're just floating in midair. They don't have anything to give them information. When we're doing BIM modeling or modeling inside Revit, we wanna utilize the information of these plumbing fixtures so we can quickly size our piping and we can do some other cool things. So I'm gonna show you guys the advantage of actually placing your plumbing fixtures in the model. Okay, so I actually have some custom plumbing fixtures right here, but first let me just delete this piping. So I'll hit delete and we'll go to this template file that I've created and you guys can get this at mepguy.com. It's uh, available with my plumbing course. So you can just click on this group of plumbing fixtures right here and we're just going to copy them to the clipboard and then I'm just gonna actually paste them into this 3D view right here. So I can just hit control V or we can just paste from the clipboard and you can see I can kind of just paste them in midair. I'm gonna click a space right here. And now they're essentially inside this model right here, okay? So they went from this project file right here to my model that I've just created. Now that they're floating up there, I'm just gonna delete them, but they are still in my model. So let's go back to the floor plan and let's place some of these fixtures. So to place a fixture, you're gonna to wanna to go up to system, plumbing fixture, and I'm just going to hit the drop down here and start typing water closet. And these are tank floor mounted type. So, I, and they're also ADA because it's a public restroom. And we're gonna click on that. And once I'm uh, in this command, I can actually use spacebar and I can rotate if I want, but I'm just, just gonna place this fixture right here on the back. Now I'm still in the plumbing fixture command. So I might as well just go ahead and place this one here. I'll hit escape. And now what I can do is I can place another plumbing fixture. So I'll click on that and then I'm gonna hit the drop down. I'm gonna start typing lavatory. And you can see I have my wall mount ADA fixture, lavatory fixture right here. I'm just gonna place it right there. And I'm just gonna place this right here. We're gonna click escape. Now you can see that my fixtures in my model are displaying in a bright white color and the ones in the background or the architectural model are in that light gray. And that's how you can tell the difference between your plumbing fixtures and the architects. Now I've designed these plumbing fixtures specifically for plumbing design. And let me show you guys how they work. So if I hit pipe, let's make sure we hit the drop down nine feet. Let's start drawing pipe. And I'm just gonna draw it to a point right here. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on this plumbing fixture and we're gonna use connect into, and I'm just gonna use this connector right here Then I already know how it works. And I'm just gonna click right here. And as you can see, this automatically made a connection 
into my main at the ceiling. Now, one of the cool things is the connector was already pre-sized, so it already knows to draw this pipe at a half of an inch. So already I'm saving some time by always using the right pipe size. So let's zoom in right here and let's take a look at how this works. Now you can also do it from a 3D view. You can click on this custom plumbing fixture, use connect into, and I just know, happen to know it's the second connector I need to use. And I'm gonna click this right here. And as you can see, Revit has automatically made that piping jump up and over, and it's automatically sized this at half inch, and it's teeing into my one inch line that's at the ceiling. Now that's pretty cool. Let's keep going with this. So let's do it from a 3D view again. So we'll click it. We'll click connect into, click this little second connector right here and right there. We'll do it from a floor plan one last time. So I'm gonna show you guys. Basically you can click the fixture, connect into, use the right connector, and then we're gonna click it right there. And as you can see, I've quickly made all the connections, the water connections that I need for this. They're sized correctly using a half inch for my supply lines. And my main line can be sized automatically using the automatic sizing tools inside Revit. Now here is the big advantage of using custom plumbing fixtures inside Revit. If I click on this piece of pipe, now when I go to my mechanical flow properties, you can see there's a flow associated with this, which is 28 GPM, which is not correct, but I will show you guys why it's not correct in a second. And you can see that all the flow information is right here, including the fixture units that are already preset for each one of these fixtures. So that's another advantage. I don't have to go in and enter additional information. I already have it right here. So basically what you need to do is you need to go into your piping system and I need to make sure that I change the calculation type. So if I go to edit type, you can see there's predominantly flush valves for the flow conversion. Now these are actually tanks, flush tanks. So I'm gonna click okay. And you're gonna see now that I have this pipe selected, you're gonna see my GPM has dropped down to 16 GPM. And that's because these are actually tank type, which require less GPM than a flush valve type. And I go into all of this stuff in my course plumbing 101 that you guys can get to at mepguy.com. Now I promised you guys I would size this piping for you so all I have to do is I have to tab into all of my pipe. We'll go up here to the duct pipe sizing tool, set our velocity to 8 feet per second. I'll use calculated size only and click OK. And now you can see the little arrows are basically telling us that there's a transition happening here. And so you can see we're transitioning now from a one inch piece of pipe to a three quarter inch piece of pipe. So you can see Revit has automatically sized our piping for us. So we can actually look at that in a fine level of detail and you can see Revit's already put in the fittings for us and everything's automatic. So if we check on the velocities now, we still have one inch here, but then right here it's dropped it to three quarter inch. And you can see that's because we have a lower flow in this piece of piping, only six fixture units, and the velocity is 7.88, which is less than eight feet per second. So you can see there's such a huge advantage of actually using building information modeling within your own Revit models, okay? So we talked about the number one mistake I see beginners make in Revit. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about the second biggest mistake I see people make in Revit. And that involves plumbing fixtures in general and which ones to use and which ones not to use. So you're really going to want to check that out.